welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. It has been about four or five weeks since I have sat down and had a chat to you guys and spoken to this bulbous eye. It has just been really busy, really good busy, but I have my day job and I only manage to do this during my spare time and so when that is limited then I fall completely off the YouTube train. But never fear because I know you were scared. It'll return to regular programming in due course. In fact, today I wanted to sit down and share with you some exciting new bits that have weaseled their way into my wardrobe and into my heart. If you are a regular on the blog or you follow me over on Instagram, then you might recognize a lot of these pieces as ones that I have worn recently. I've got clothing, shoes, bags and accessories, beauty bits, and in an effort to try and ramble less and cut to the chase more, let's just get cracking. Let's kick things off with clothing and I have a few pieces here that I'm very excited to share. The first item is this blazer from The Curated. This is called the Modern Blazer and it is modern because of its colourless style as you can see here. Now the introduction of this new style by the brand is a rather exciting move because it sees their blazer collection expand somewhat. They've got a classic blazer style that was designed in collaboration with Emma Hill. She is a British YouTuber and blogger and that classic blazer is an absolute hit. I have it in the black. I love it. It is one of my most worn black blazers. I've got a dedicated video on my YouTube channel about that too so I will link that. And so you can imagine how excited I was to try out this modern version which has the same cut and the same fabrication silky wool mix which means that it is really flowy and very luxurious something to note is that I did take a different size in this style in comparison to my classic blazer the classic blazer I have in the size extra small whereas the modern blazer I size down to the extra extra small the blazer is cut to a more relaxed fit it's a single breasted style I did get the arms tailored in the classic blazer because I found that they were a little bit too oversized and too long I haven't done that yet with this blazer I don't really think that I need to um, it's not high on my priority list. It is everything that you would expect from a brand like The Curated. They never disappoint. Everything is just fantastic quality. And I have managed to take this guy out for a spin several times, worn this to work, and I have really, really enjoyed it. The next few items of clothing that I'm going to share, I'm just going to lump in the one category, and I'm going to call it New Items from Lily Silk. The next three or so minutes of this video is sponsored by Lily Silk, and so thanks to the Lily Silk team for your support once again. I've worked with them several times already, and I love their silk shirts, as you can probably gather from the outfits that I share. The quality of Lily Silk pieces is superb, and as you can probably gather from their brand name, they are specialists in silk but they also dabble in cashmere as well. And I have tried both their silk and their cashmere products. I don't have as much cashmere as their silk though. I have quite a few of their silk pieces and I've got silk pieces from their Shamu silk range, which is the shinier silk, as well as their Crepe de Chine range, which is the more matte silk. Across the board, just really lovely, excellent quality. Secondly, their packaging is something to highlight as well because the unboxing experience was really quite lovely and very luxurious. Everything comes individually packed and all of their packaging is recyclable. And I thought that it was just presented in a very premium manner. I've got five pieces that I'm going to share with you. Some are from their new collection and some are from their classic collection. And so let's start off with one of their classic pieces. It's this camisole here. Now, if you are familiar with the brand, then you would have definitely seen this guy make the rounds on social media because so many different creators, a lot of my favorite creators, have featured this and it just looks incredible. Such a flattering cut and style and amazing quality that I can now vouch for now that I've seen it in person. Now, unfortunately with this guy, I ordered the wrong size. I got myself a size too big and it's not this guy's fault, it's this guy's fault. I just didn't read the sizing information properly. I'm really disappointed about that, that it doesn't fit me perfectly, but I have worn it and I do just do a strategic pin on the side so that my puppies don't fall out. Not that I have large puppies anyway, but it's that V-neck style that just makes me conscious of that. With the pinning, it's fine. I mean, ideally it would have been good if I got myself the correct size. So I'm hoping that the error that I made means that you will make a smarter purchasing choice if you do decide to buy this camisole. It's such a versatile piece. It looks great with denim, it looks great with skirts. It's just one of those pieces that you can just throw on and it just completely elevates your entire look. So my tip is just to read the size guide, but also know that this one runs slightly big as well. The next piece that I wanted to share is this silk shirt that I am wearing right now, 
which I am absolutely loving and you would have seen me feature on the blog several times because I have made pretty good use of it so far. Unlike the camisole, I intentionally sized up with the silk shirt and so typically I'm a size small or that's what the size guide suggests that I should do but I was a rebel again and I decided to size up to a size medium and I totally hit the sizing nail on the head. Is that even a saying? Well, I'm just going to go with it and I really love how it looks. I just love how it's just a little bit more relaxed, more of that boyfriend fit, but it still looks really polished when I'm wearing it with like a sleek black skirt. And it also looks really great when I'm wearing it with casual jeans and Birkenstocks and things like that. I really like the contrasting looks that I can achieve. And out of all of the items that were part of my Lily Silk order, this is my absolute favorite. This is my top pick. Now there is that fashion rule about stripes where vertical stripes elongate your frame and that shorter people should avoid horizontal stripes. Now I'm petite, I'm 5'2 or 158 centimetres if you are new to me and for as long as I can remember I have worn horizontal stripes pretty much exclusively whenever I wear stripes. I've got several which I will litter the screen with right now but now that I have dabbled with vertical stripes because this is the first vertical stripe shirt that I've ever added to my wardrobe I understand now why that rule is a rule because it actually works it actually makes you look elongated not that i don't like horizontal stripes i still love them i think i love how cozy they are this just looks much more sleek and sophisticated now i don't just have the one vertical stripe silk item from lily silk because when i expressed interest in this one they also offered to send me not one but two vertical stripe dresses these are also new from their collection and I got the size right with these ones as well. Don't worry, I'm not just an nincompoop when it comes to sizing all the time. I got a short sleeve silk dress, which the team just wanted me to try. This one has paneling with the stripes and it also comes with a belt as well. And I also got this wrap style silk dress here, which reminds me quite a bit of Diane von Furstenberg dresses with the collars. This one has a shorter hem as well, which balances out the top. And it's also got this nifty press stud button here so that your girls, your puppies, they don't fall out. They are safely encased within the dress, if that is a concern for you. Shirt I have had a play with and I've worn with boots to the office once before. Out of the two different style shirts that they sent across to me, I do have a preference for the long sleeve wrap version. I think that it's more work friendly as well. I don't really wear short sleeve shirt dresses. I don't think I've ever really embraced a short sleeve shirt dress, which is probably why I don't gravitate towards this one as much. But look at me, I'm just, I'm like Stripe City right now in all of Lily Silk's new striped collection. Out of all of the striped pieces that I do have, like I mentioned earlier, I think their shirt is the absolute winner. But if you are after a striped dress as well that will elongate you if you are a short person like me, then the wrap dress will also work very well on you as well. And lastly, I got this silk skirt. As you know, I love a silk skirt. I've got one of Lily Silk's navy skirts in this similar style, and I love my Anine Bing silk skirts in black. I wear them constantly. I wanted to expand the color range that I had in my collection and I wanted to go for a lighter tone. This one has a split on the side as well which means that you are walking in the skirt and not shuffling. In terms of quality, beautiful and it's just a lovely color. It's also the perfect length. I'm very much looking forward to wearing you a lot more. Meanwhile, if any of the items that I have shared have piqued your interest or tickled your fancy, then I do have two discount codes so you can have a play with and work out which one works better for you. I've got 12% off everything with the code WhatVWAR12, and I've also got 30% off your second item with WhatVWAR30. So everything that I have featured will be linked in the description section below, as well as the discount codes so that you can have a bit of a browse and have a bit of a play. And so that ends the sponsored portion of this video. Thanks again to Lily Silk for supporting my channel and let me continue sharing more of the things. Right. To round out my new in wardrobe bits, I have to mention my most worn outerwear piece over the past few weeks, and that is my Marks and Spencer trench coat, which you will recognize from various reels that I have shared. I was fortunate enough to take this guy home with me after a Marks and Spencer event, which I attended a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. It is such amazing value for the quality that you receive 
And right now in Sydney, it's now proper autumn weather, which is ideal trench coat weather, which is why I'm making most of it before I have to whip out my heavy duty coats. And I'm just really enjoying this one as well. I've also been caught in the rain in this one and the water has just run off it because it's got this water resistant treatment on top, their storm wear technology. I think that's what they call it. The color is amazing as well. It's not as warm toned as the Uniqlo trench coat that I have, which is about six years old now. This is a more cool tone beige, but it's got all of the the trimmings that you would expect off a really good quality trench coat. It's got these tortoiseshell style buttons, it's got storm flaps, it's got buckles on the cuffs, it's got hooks on the neck just like the Burberry trench. It's just a really really well made coat. It's also lined as well and so this has been a really exciting addition to my wardrobe. I already have a navy trench from Marks and Spencer in my wardrobe which I have had in my wardrobe now for about three or four years and I opted to get myself a size six in that one which in hindsight, I probably should have got myself a size eight in order to accommodate for more layering because I find I can only really wear that one with a thin knit. So sizing up has been really good in this one. I wanted to get a size eight and they had one available on the day that I attended the event. And it is just the perfect oversized relaxed trench style. I think as my personal style is shifting to be a bit more relaxed and more casual, then I am embracing more oversized pieces. I think the navy trench was very much Virginia at the time, whereas now I'm just much more relaxed. I can see myself wearing this one for a very, very long time. This one also sells out quite quickly as well, and there can be a bit of a waiting period between restocks. And so when I do see it in stock, I do share it on my Instagram stories, and I just tell you all to just run in all caps lock. And I mean it. I mean it because I'm looking out for you. I care for you. I want you to have one of these too. The next category of new and things that I wanted to share with you is shoes and I have three pairs that I wanted to share with you. The first pair is in this box here from Ally Shoes, New York City based brand that I have previously shared a pair of their comfortable heels before, their bold block heel in my, I think it was a January video that I did. I have their newly released ankle boot. This is she. She is a beauty. Now, Ally Shoes is an innovative footwear brand in that they actually create comfortable shoes. So they've got a podiatrist on their design team and they've got a designer as well. So they make their shoes equally beautiful and comfortable. With the Bold Block Heel, which I have posted a review about on the blog, and I talk about the comfort features, I'm also going to post a review up on these ones soon. So I've worn them a few times and I, I have thoughts that I wanted to share. The insole area, which is patented. Yeah, inside, which is probably very difficult to see because it's a boot, it's got this amazing patented insole technology. And so it feels like your foot is just being hugged in a really lovely padded blanket. I don't know how to describe it. There's a toe cushion there so that your toes have a little nice bed to sit on. There's arch support. Everything is really spongy. And Ally shoes also come in four different widths. I think the boots come in three different widths, the heels come in four different widths so that it can accommodate the size of your foot. And they also have micro sizing. So there's half sizing available from US 4.5 all the way up to 12 and the shoes are made to order. So there is a bit of a lead time that you need to factor in because your shoes are actually being made for you but the result is just incredible. I get a US 6.5 and I get the medium width. The width is a B. I have never had a pair of ankle boots that have fit me as well as these boots. And so without going into detail about all of the comfort innovations, I know I've touched on a few of those already, I really do recommend that you check out Ally Shoes. And I know that for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, I know that you're entering your warmer season now, but for those of you that are like me and about to enter your cooler season, then you need to test these out. I also have an Instagram code which I will pop here and also pop in the description section below which gives you 50 US dollars off a pair of boots. Well worth it I think considering what they retail for. Second pair of shoes also by Ally Shoes, this isn't sponsored by the way, is a pair of Ally Shoes kitten heels. So this is the third pair of shoes that I now have from the brand. I have their bold block heel, I have their boot. I wanted to try their kitten heel. This is a lower heel, a more mature five centimeter heel. They look very walkable, very comfortable and I can vouch for that. They are extremely comfortable to wear. Now similar to Ally Shoes sizing range and the widths that they offer in their shoes, they also have an incredible range when it comes to leathers, colors and suede finishes. I encourage you to take a look at the range that they've got. I decided to go for the Moxie Mocha color, which is a lovely espresso color. All of the colors 
colours are also alliterative as well, which appeals to my nerdy heart. The tan suede heels that I've got from their collection are in tenacious tan. Beautiful heel, sensible height. And because these are a heel, I can actually show you what all the spongy business looks like in person. Still probably not obvious until you actually put your foot in, but as you can see, there's the arch support spongy thing here, and there's this toe bed. The toe bed is the game changer for me. I love that. And also the deeper heel cup. And so rather than it being straighter, sort of more high street heels or heels that you see for the masses, this one has a deeper heel cut, which actually holds your heel in. Two pairs of shoes there from Ally Shoes. Very pleased with those. And the last pair of shoes that I have to share with you are also from like a comfortable luxury shoe designer, Sarah Flint, which I have shared on my blog and my YouTube channel and Instagram many a time before. I have a pair of these bright fire engine red kitten heels which have featured in reels and these have this really lovely sort of comma heel style again five centimeters tall so very sensible very comfortable they feature sarah flint's signature v vamp and sarah flint shoes have the additional padding at the arch as well which i have talked about on the blog now one of the most frequently asked questions that i get because i have featured a fair few sarah flint shoes and i've only just started featuring ally shoes let me just drag them out again so that I can illustrate the points. The question that I get asked is, which shoe designer produces the more comfortable shoe? And so without saying anything, I'm going to move the shoes that are more comfortable. Yeah, by quite a bit. But I also get asked, which shoes do you think are more beautiful? And I think that the range from this designer is a lot more expansive and more beautiful because just new collections are released every year. I have a fair few of this designer's shoes as well and I continue to wear them, but since the introduction of these guys into my life, yeah. Not saying anything, I'm just moving stuff, okay? Don't, don't quote me. You can't quote me. I hope I don't get in trouble for not saying anything. So that rounds out the shoes, so let's swiftly move on. Now we're moving on to the bags and accessories portion of the video and I've got one bag that I wanted to share with you as well as some jewellery bits as well. The bag that I wanted to share is one that I have already reviewed on my YouTube channel but I just wanted to feature it because I have really enjoyed wearing it over the past few months particularly. It is the curated classic shoulder bag which I have just really enjoyed wearing and I think it is so beautiful in its simplicity, in its structure. I have really wanted the Celine classic bag for the longest time. I just put up a blog post sharing a heap of classic bag dupes because I just love that style of bag. And so to have this one in my collection to be able to wear has just really scratched that itch for me. It goes with so much of my wardrobe. And I predominantly just wear this guy crossbody or I wear it on the shoulder. I don't actually wear it with the shorter shoulder strap, which it comes with, because I actually don't find that comfortable. I much prefer wearing it crossbody. I've already covered this in my review video, which I will link for you if you are interested. But in terms of like recent wardrobe favorites and what is the newest bag in my collection, it's this one. This one has just sparked a lot of joy. And now moving on to accessories, I have some pieces here from an Australian label called Arms of Eve. And if you follow me over on Instagram, then the hoops that I am constantly wearing and I'm wearing today, these are from Arms of Eve and I just really love a lot of their range. I have a few of their bracelets as well, which I wear on the weekends just with a basic t-shirt and jeans. And I have their chain necklace and a beaded necklace, which I love layering over a simple tank. And so the base of a lot of their metal jewellery is sterling silver. And I think it's like gold vermeil, like it's got gold plating on top. It is just incredibly good quality. I wear these in the shower and they haven't tarnished. I think for the longest time I rejected the idea of costume jewellery because I knew that it would tarnish or it would lose its colour and go green, like all of that nickel stuff I used to get from Sports Girl and Lovisa, which I still like for that little kick. But this is like the best of both worlds. It's a bit of costume, but it's long lasting. And so that's why I've really enjoyed their pieces and I have really embraced wearing a lot more of that costume style jewelry in my everyday looks. And the last category of things that I wanted to share with you all relate to beauty and they are some new and things that I have recently picked up. At the beginning of this year, I popped my hair dye cherry. First time I dyed my hair, I know I was very late to the party, but since doing that and being a lot more considered in caring for my hair, and I also have just been upping my hair game recently and I've been styling it a lot more, I have found another channel to funnel all my money and that's luxury hair care. 
and I'm not mad about it. My wallet's probably a bit cranky, but let's not talk about that. The MVP product for me is this Virtue Texturizing Spray. This is the final step after I have styled my hair. So I curl my hair, I comb it out, and then I spray it with this. And it just adds this really lovely shiny texture to my hair. It also increases the longevity of my hairstyles and so I can get about four days worth of curls by putting on this texturizing spray. It's not at all sticky or tacky like a hairspray, it's just a really nice way to finish off your hairstyle. And I notice a difference when I don't use this, like when I forget to use this, then when I do use it it makes such a difference in adding sort of that overall shine quality to my hair like I've, like I've done right now. This is just brill, gorge, amaze. What other positive word can I shorten? Fan. Fantastic. It's worth every cent. The next hair item that I've also been loving, that my hair has really been loving and reacting well to, is this leave-in conditioner from Redken. So I apply this after I've gotten out of the shower and after I've towel dried my hair somewhat. This is the conditioner that I put into my hair after I've combed my hair. So it's still damp and wet. I'll pop this in and it's got sort of a heat protectant quality as well if you heat style your hair which obviously just damages your hair you're killing your hair slowly when you are curling it like I do it's a styling aid and it's an intense conditioner just to repair your hair between washes and between singeing it like when you curl it like me this has been really really good and a little bit goes a long way as well you only need roughly like a 10 cent piece and just sort of apply it gently into the hair from your ear down. That's typically how I do it. This came on recommendation of my hairdresser. My hairdresser always uses this on me whenever she's styling my hair and I just wanted to get that experience at home as well. And it's pretty well priced considering how long it lasts. I'm still on my first shoe and I've used this consistently now for the past three or four months. And the last new in beauty bit, which isn't so new in because I have been using it since January, it is the Christophe Robin shampoo. Now if you have scalp issues like me, itchy scalp, where it can get flaky and really gross and dandruffy, then this is the shampoo that has really worked for me. So all of the more popular head and shoulders anti-dandruff shampoos from the supermarket, which I had tried, they didn't really work for me. They would actually make my hair even worse. And I had to use the Neutrogena T-Gel shampoo just to like strip my entire scalp back. And yeah, I've had real issues with my scalp, which I haven't really shared. It's been a real journey. Just cue sad music. This stuff doesn't agitate my scalp like the other shampoos that I tried, but it's also not going to strip away at your colour. And so it's good enough to use on coloured hair, but also your scalp. And again, I didn't find this myself. This is just from the benefit of my hairdresser recommending this to me and it's worked for me. And so I would recommend this to you as well if you have the same specific scalp issues like me. I know this is a very niche recommendation. It says stressed scalp and dry ends. My scalp has been very relaxed since Kristoff came into my life. I'm feeling that I'm rambling. I think I'm, I think I'm getting hungry. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys. I have really enjoyed getting back into the swing of things and filming again. And so I hope you enjoyed this video and my roundup of new in favorites that I have really enjoyed in my wardrobe. Remember to check the description section of this video just for the discount codes because that is something that you should definitely take advantage of if you are keen for any of the pieces that I shared in this video. In the meantime, I will get back on the regular programming train and you will see a new video from me very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these types of videos and you like me, then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like me, then you don't have to let me know. Just, you don't have to do anything. I, I don't need you to tell me. I'm also digitally in other places as well. I've got my blog and I've got my Instagram. A very embarrassing TikTok following, so let's not talk about that. But yes, you can find me easily because I am what v everywhere. So yes, I will wrap it up here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!